Thank you, Deacon. May we never lose sight of the cross. I'll say that again. May we never lose sight of the cross. Brothers and sisters, today on this wonderful feast day of St. Gregory, he was so inspirational in our teachings that we follow today in a faithful way of following in Christ, to imitate Christ in his works, in his deeds, and in just who he is. And as I reflected last night, I thought that by stating that we don't lose sight of the cross is because Jesus does tell us to carry our own cross. Our wounds, our burdens, the hurts, those things that at times can bind us in such a way that we feel rejected or simply unworthy. But yet, we're to carry our cross to the cross because he has borne every thing that each one of us in this wonderful sanctuary and throughout the world, he took that to the cross so that we don't get bowed down though that, and I love Charlene's way of uh, proclaiming the beautiful Psalm, that yes, we, God will lift up those who are bowed down, but we're not to remain down. He wants us to be lifted up. And so on this wonderful day, as we reflect and celebrate Pope St. Gregory the Great, may we understand the beautiful gift of God's amazing love through Christ Jesus, our Savior, that as we bring those things that bind us to the cross, the cross, then our cross becomes a little lighter. And I just want to leave you with this. As we continue to reflect on imitating Christ, the psalm also leads us to understand that we are to carry with us in all of our prayers this morning, state with a spirit of joy that we show kindness, gentleness, compassion, that we're caring. And just around, I guess, I don't remember when I was at one of our local pharmacies, and they were so kind to me because I was not feeling good at all. And they told me that they would take care of me and that they would get what I needed as quickly as they could. And it reminded me of my days growing up here. Does anybody remember Brown's Pharmacy? Anybody? Brown's Pharmacy was the only pharmacy in Friendswood, right across the street in a building that no longer exists. And Mr. Brown was the pharmacist, and one day, on a Friday, I rode my bike after school to the pharmacy went inside, sat down at the fountain. At those days, drugstores had fountains. And I ordered a Coke float because I didn't feel good. And they brought me the Coke float. And after I finished, she said, honey, are you done? I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, okay, that's $1.25. I said, charge it because dad had a charge account there. All of us did in those days. Why am I saying this? She looked at me and she says, honey, I'll take care of it. And I left on my bike and went home. Can we be that light of kindness today to someone without judgment, but simply with the gift of love? Because as we bear our sins, our wounds and our hurts, we take them to the cross, knowing that Christ continues to give us his kindness, his gentleness, his compassion, forgiveness, and says, be raised up, no longer be bowed down, and you go forth with a great gift of faith. Amen? Amen.